my next let's play of two. Uh, it's, it's a game that barely anyone has ever heard of. It's a game called Metal Arms Glitch in the System. This game I have loved for so many years. I have literally beaten it at least five or six times just because it's that fun. But I'm not going to say anything about what it's about until you guys have seen the first few cutscenes. But, uh, ooh. Oh, come on. Uh, wow. I can't even do a profile name correctly. You know what? I'm just going to call it LP. No sweat. Besides, you guys don't really care about the stupid profile name. You just want to see me play the game. Anyway, there you go. LP. Alright, I'm going to do the game on normal difficulty. I've beaten it on hard. I've attempted it on Nuts of Steel. Uh, I didn't really feel like playing through it anymore because I'd already beaten it so many times, but, uh... I'm going to do it on normal, so I won't die as much. Alright, so we're about to enter the first cutscene in the game, which might give you a little bit of oversight. We have this destroyed city here. Not looking too pretty.
basically our character Glitch is off to his first mission. Uh, the mines that we're about to go into are owned by the droids. The mills, which are the evil robots, have broken in and are about to make their way into Droid Town. The location of Droid Town is not known by the mills, and therefore is their, the droids' last hope of survival against the mills. So what our job to do right now is to get the mills out of the mines. Pretty freaking epic, I must say. It's a really fun game. Nobody bought it, unfortunately. But hey, whatever. Anyway, this is basically just a training level. It gives you basic controls, jumping around, shooting uh, grenades when we actually get them. Um, I can't really think of anything else right now. But uh, that's really it. Anyway, here's our buddies for a little while, anyway. Their names are Screwed and Hose. As you might have heard, the Colonel Alloy say. Colonel Alloy is the commander of the droid army. And uh, he was basically a hero for coming up with the droid rebellion. So anyway, um, Screwed and Hose here are friends. They basically just show us the level, uh, how to play. Yeah, you can double tap your A button. Not like Glitch knows what the A button is, but, you know, whatever. So, yeah, just simple jumping. Basic, basic stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, this game is really badass with some of the weapons you get later and some of the firefights you get into. It's so fun. It's just great. That's, I love this game so much. And like I said at the very beginning of the video, I, beat it, I must have beaten it at least, like, six times. And they, depending on the difficulty you can play on, it really gets challenging. You really have to plan out the firefight. But it's good stuff. So anyway, here's our first encounter with the mill grunts. Um, these are guys are weak. The mill grunts, as you, they're just grunts, so you expect them to be weak. And the weapon we have here is called the mining laser. It is the trashiest garbage weapon in the game, and I'm barely ever going to use it ever. It's so incredibly weak, as you can tell. One mill can take a million shots from it. Also, a strategic part of fighting in this game is uh, wind dismemberment. You can actually dismember the mills. Uh, you can knock off their firearm arm and uh, basically render them useless to fight. So anyway, uh, we just won our first fight against the mills. We also got these uh, little things called washers. They are the currency of this game. Uh, and there's going to be a little store where we can buy a whole crap load of stuff, like new weapons, which any weapon is much better than the mining laser. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, so anyway, here's our next one in with the mills. What we have, what all I have to do is shoot down this bridge here. And all see it's breaking apart like that. Wait. Okay, just wait, 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 wait. Okay. Yeah, the bottom right is where the uh, the ammo would normally appear, but the mining laser does have infinite ammo, but it can overheat. So that's basically the only secret behind that. Uh, this episode is pretty much almost over, though. But uh, you, I'll upload my... I'm doing two LPs at once, so I'll upload the next one very shortly. Uh, here's our grenades. They're called coring charges. In the next video, I will show you guys what they do. So, see you later. Bye.